How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Sixkill and welcome back to Dragon Quest XI. Now in the last episode we did our intro and everything, we got our adulthood ceremony out of the way and we just learned that we have a special destiny and we have to go on a trip to find out about that special destiny. So, yeah, we can talk to our mum. Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today and your big news. Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. You got it. And he opens that door like... Like that's what he really means to do, like... That is his number one thought. Hey! Hey guy! I mean lady! Hello! <laughs> Your door's locked! Rude! Super rude! Hello? Your shop? Assume your door's locked too, huh? Hey, it's Jimmy. Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. <sighs> I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the Luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the Luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. That's his star, right there. <sighs> How can you be the Luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. You should come with us. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to. Goodbye, old friend. Aww. Why can't she come with us? Exhausted after his long day, Bobby finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. Just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. You won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. No promises. Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. <laughs> okay. What's up here? Secrets? I hope so. Fuck, this is a tall house, man. There's a long ladder. I really gotta up the sensitivity on the camera. Uh, on the camera stick or whatever.
They're pretty slow. They're pretty. It's a pretty slow cam returning. Hey, old man. I heard all about. Heard about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make. And you're just a youngster. But before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is, of course. Down the slope across the river. Once you've stocked up, head up to the village entrance to the north. We'll be waiting to see you off. You got it. Yeah, we can, like, take massive falls. Shop! You're leaving Cobblestone, are you? Well, make sure you got the essentials before you set off. Welcome, valued customer. How may I serve you? That's how you talk? Welcome, valued customer? All of this is an improvement on what we have, except for the cypress stick. I'll take the Wayfarer's clothes. Alright, what else we got? Alright, Potlid's the next best thing. Oh, it looks like we can equip the bandana as well. We picked up med medicine and stuff, like, while we were doing the tutorial. Can we sell off our old shit? Oops. There! Those are the fucking... The Dragon's Quest 8 stuff. It's already not as good as armor, though, unfortunately. That's fine. Ah, auto run. That's weird. Oh, I see, and then you lose the pot lid. I'd rather have the, the defense, to be honest. Well, this is the same as the bandana I just bought, so I'll just wear that. Doesn't change the way we look anyway. That's weird. I th totally thought it would. Maybe you have to wear a full set before it changes the way you look. Some games are like that. Deary, deary me, what am I gonna do? Oh, if it isn't young Bobby, you came at the rest of the right time. I got a favor to ask you, you see. The other day I was playing with my lad, you know, messing around as you do. Well, anyway, he got this flurry, flurry feather that he loves. And well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Luckily, the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. I go and get it myself, but I'm not too good with heights, I'm afraid. Anyway, I know you're a brave young fellow, and I was wondering, if you mind clambering up there and grabbing it back for me, you'd be doing me a huge favor, I'm telling you. I will acquiesce to the request. I knew you'd help me out. You always paid attention to what the priest said in church, you know? That stuff about always being kind to others. You're a fine fellow, and no mistake. Now, there's no time to lose. My son's desperate to get his beloved feather back. I run over to your shed. I'm sure you've climbed on your fair share of roofs. Just find something to clamber onto and press B to jump up there. Once you've found the flurry feather, bring it back here and I'll see if I can give you a little something in return. Best of luck. The People's Friend. Oh, I see. God, I'm dumb sometimes. All the time. Mainly all the time. 50 gold coins? Nice. Ada! Didn't realize you were right here. Looks like you got the feather. Would you mind let me have it? Thanks, and you wouldn't let me down. I can't wait to see the look on my boy's face, and before I forget, here's a little something in return. Now that's not all, I got a tip for you. I hope you find it useful. If you ever want to do someone a good turn, look for a purple speech button. Yeah, I saw that. Listen to what they have to say and see if you can do anything to help. It always pays to be kind to others. I don't feel it's just because someone shared their woes with you, you have to help them right away. You can always come back when you want a little change of pace, if you're not sure what to do next. Anyway, thanks again, Bobby. I really owe you one. Now just remember, whatever's waiting for you up ahead, be kind to others and you'll do just fine. 
This quest has been transgressed with finesse. Like it. Any more exploring we should be doing? Where's Gemma's house? Okay, we can't go that way by the look of it. Ooh, what's up here? Exploring! We haven't explored cobblestone properly yet. Jesus Christ, this is a long way. Ah, no! No! Fuck! I was trying to see if I could speed up the ladder like in Dark Souls, but you press B and you start sliding down. Don't press B when you're giving up. My god, we're a fucking beast! It's breaking shit! That's how we do! Run around breaking stuff. No? Oh! That should have killed me, realistically. Right? If I was a normal person, I'd be dead right now. Where else do we need to explore? I guess we should get a move on. I'm assuming this is the way we're meant to be going to leave. Looks like the way out. So you're leaving us for a bit, eh? Well, they're all up at the north entrance waiting for to wave you off. Better get up there, we'll miss you, sunshine. Oh, okay, north entrance. How many entrances does this town have? I feel like it's not going to protect it from uh, potential invaders. If you got an entrance in every fucking area of town. Whatever. Hopefully we'll see uh, Gemma on the way out. Oh, there's our mum. This is it, my little soldier's really leaving. You might not be back for a while. Hope you've said all your goodbyes. So you ready? Yeah. Off you go then. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. To think. It's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in the... I mean, since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. You know who the luminary was, of course. A legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course, but it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> Oh, for cool. If sure. If he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, no, I'm only joking, of course. The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. No. The fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Nice.
Where's Gemma? And may this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. You'll find Heliodor easily enough. Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Gemma! Here, take this with you. I... I made it for you. You should come, Gemma. I will keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Oh, I don't know what's in store for you out there. But wherever you go and... Whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Okay. Bye, Jimmer and Sandy. I thought you two were coming. I'm sure we'll get them later. Need a horse? Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time, but you sometimes have to area, enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair though. A ring on one of the many summoning bells dotted around earlier will soon bring back your faithful friend galloping back to your side. Cool. These bells here. Good to know. Oh my god, we can travel fast. I feel like we won't be exploring very well though. Moving at that kind of speed. I think I'd be quite happy just to walk. Then we've got enemies to deal with. If we don't kill the enemies, how are we going to get stronger? So we got no one healing our MP now, so I guess we're going to have to... ...not use our magic unless we have to. Get wrecked! <laughs> we hit him in the back when he turned about. That was ruthless. I like how we can change the camera angle and stuff during it. Can't usually do that in like turn base like this. Six XP. Terrible. Look at this bird thing. You want a fucking tussle, bitch? No? Okay. He doesn't want to tussle, he wants to run away. That's cool. Come here, asshole! What's this place? I'm gonna go in here if I were you. The monster's that way. I'll make mincemeat of you. If it's Heliodor you're trying to get to, you need to head north anyway. I was just exploring, douchebag. Alright, dismount. I'm gonna get this bird. Gotcha! Stark Raven. Stark Raven mad. Die! I don't know why I had to kill that, but I had to kill it. I just had to know what it was. You know? There's nothing personal. Oh, see! Let us roll! Holy shit, I stomped one to death! I didn't even mean to do that. Just gallop straight over him. Ow. Now you're gonna die, fool. Man, that medicinal herb heals hard. These guys are a bit too weak to even be worth fighting, aren't they? The XP they're dropping is pathetic. Oh, well, we're still leveling up, so I guess it makes it worthwhile still. If we're still leveling up, it's worthwhile. If we're not leveling up, it's not worthwhile. 
Mushrooms? Wait there, horse. I have to look at the mushrooms. No? Okay. I thought there'd be something I could pick up. Alright, let's roll. This is exciting. I love going on an adventure. Adventure! Oh, it's you bat fuckers. Dracky, I remember you guys. Mainly from Dragon's Quest Monsters. Like, I hope you get to make a monster team in this like you can in Dragon's Quest 8. Or like you have in Dragon's Quest Monsters. That was always so fun, I loved it. Oh my god, it's Cactus. Look at all the needlers. Ah, wobbly fucker! You're so weird. <laughs> Die, you weird cucumber man. Oh, poor slime. <laughs> that was awesome. Man, some of those death animations are fucking cool. <laughs> Threw a spear up and it nearly stabbed him, but he caught it. Ah, treasure! Seed of life. I'm sure that's good. Oops, did not mean to run into you. Well, we need the fight. We need the XP. I don't think you slimes want to tussle with us. Are you sure you want to do this? Okay. Yeah, I thought so. You saw your friend die, so you left. Good move. Good move. You want to hang about, get murdered. I'm sure nobody wants to hang about, get murdered. Not keen on being murdered today. Bunnies! That's the bunny corn things. I remember them too. I don't remember the cucumber guys though, they were weird. Oh ho, hold on a second. Oh, what have we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. I wish real life was that easy. What's that? You're worried about being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties at bay for as long as you need. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess we'll, uh... Ah, oh, no! Sorry. Fuck off. Um... We're gonna do some camping then, I guess. Let's save, shall we? Good. Yes, I plan to continue.
Uh, I guess we'll just rest. Until dawn. Until dawn. Alright, let's roll. Oh, which way are we going? There's heaps to explore here. Look at the stuff to the north. Is that where we're going? To the north? I feel like I should be walking. If I walk, then I can, like, combat properly. And not run past everything and explore properly. In your back, asshole. See you later. Yeah, I think I've decided we're gonna walk from now on. Thanks anyway, horse. You've been very helpful. I kill you, bunny. Oh my god, it's adorable. It's fucking adorable. Kill it! <laughs> Die, you adorable bastard. The XP gain out here is just atrocious. Oh, it's the mallet dudes. They were cool. Alright, froggy. Let's tussle. Okay, Toadie, sorry. Ooh, they're getting nastier out here. Better XP, please. Hey, dude. Hammerhood. Remember, they were good in Dragon's Quest Monsters. They miss a lot, but they hit real hard. What's up at the end here? That's the real question. Okay, these guys. Ah, here we go, here we go. Cotton top, whatever that is. I kill you, whatever you are. Looks like I'm going to spend this entire episode just grinding XP out here now. Ow! Nasty. Yeah, we're nearly out of time for this episode. We're going to keep moving though a little bit longer. Maybe get to the next area if we can. I just want to make sure we explore reasonably well. Let's pick up the stuff that's sitting around. You don't want to be underleveled in this game either. If it's anything like the other Dragon's Quest games, you will suffer if you're underleveled. Because you'll just get smashed later on. Hmm. Seems like a place a treasure chest would be, but no. Whoops, did not even see you there. Waste them. Good. Yay, treasure chest. Medicinal herb, nice. Always good. Never have too many medicinal herbs. I'm enjoying going for a nice leisurely walk. I like the horse, but I like I like exploring properly. Walking makes that a lot easier. Hey, asshole! Prepare to be obliterated. Need a level up. That's what we need. I'm sure we're getting close to a level up at this point. Oh, we can sprint. That's cool. Man, he sprints like a crazy person too. Looks like there's no stamina bar either, so we can do it forever. That's cool. Ooh, what 
do we got here? A shaky tree! That's cool! What's this way? Obviously this is not the way we're meant to be going. But I'm curious. The place is so littered with monsters. You can't possibly fight them all. Not when they'll all respawn anyway. Where does this go? I assume this is not going the way we want it to be going. I need to find out what's at the end of this road, it's huge! Oh no. Other pathways. What does this say? Emerald Coast. What was that? It was a freaking ghost! Did you see the ghost? It was a ghost! You dipshits. There's more ghosties. This is the one I was at before, isn't it? It is. Okay, well, we're going to wrap this episode up here, and I'll bring you back uh, when we get back over where we were a second ago. Till then, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.